and we're back. Barbara. Not sure who she is, I cannot remember. Are you the man to thank for the drinks? In truth, the drinks are to honor a dear friend who recently passed away. I simply wanted to toast and drink to his memory. A kind gesture. Thank you. Yes, thanks. It was a long road here from Mühldorf. We came to visit the shrine of St. Moritz, but the sisters said it's closed because of some trouble. That's more that the monks are hiding from the peasants at the abbey. It's one way to put it. I think they're just trying to protect it in case the peasants get rowdy. Just saying, that's one way to put it. Well, a priest told me to fake a pilgrimage here, to take a pilgrimage here after God uh, saved my little goat's life. Squint quizzically. I think it is this little fella here. She means the boy, Philippe, over there. Damn it, Philippe, get up that goddamn table. Don't curse, Father. All oh, right, all right. Yeah. Little boys can be frustrating. Sometimes you can't help but curse. No, I just say nothing. She seems talkative, so I'll try to get her to talk. Anyway, the boy climbed up in a tree, jumped off, and landed his uh, hand on a board with a nail through it. His arm swelled like a bloated pig in the sun. Must you describe it that way? Well, it did. He had such an awful fever, like he was boiling in his own skin. I prayed to God to save my little goat, and the next day, a miracle. It's true, that very next day. Alright, let me get this straight now. What? No, wait, what? When did this happen? Just now? Miracles are happening. People are being healed. Uh, the fever could have broken naturally. Don't be such a douche. Well, he was very fortunate. It was the Lord, Lord's intercession. This is about fucking pleasing people. You never know what they like. I asked our priest in Mildorf how to thank God. Since the little goat's arm had swollen so badly, he said we should make a pilgrimage to see the hand of St. Moritz. Philip off. Oh, he's over there now. <laughs> so can so you can imagine uh, how disappointed we are that the shrine is closed. Uh, this will all be resolved soon. It's just a misunderstanding between the peasants and the abbot. Uh, just wait a few more days. The differ what difference does it make? Uh, of course, hopefully you won't have to wait too long. <laughs> Oh, it's Martin. <coughs> I'm sorry, the boy won't listen. It's no trouble. Do I know you? So this is the connection here. It's possible. I traveled around a bit when I was younger. Oh, that's mu that must be it. Thank you for returning the boy. Were you here on St. John's Eve? No, we arrived yesterday morning. Why? Uh, might as well tell them, because if they've heard something. I'm trying to figure out if someone in town was involved in my friend's death. No, I don't think we could help you with that. Alright, thanks anyway. Until next time. Until then. So I'm oh shit, what the fuck was that? God damn it. Let's see Martin bring out his evil side. What's wrong with you, blind? Dumb? Oh, it's one of the doctors. Calm down. It was an incident. It was a accident. No good. No idea what that means. What the hell are you saying? Speak German, fucker. Smithila.
no idea what he's saying, but he's doing the Italian hands, so things are getting serious. Oh, you want to fight? You came to the right place, fancy boy. I think, um, <coughs> I don't know. Things are weird. Uh, there we go. Bar fight. I don't think this is how you wanted it to go. Is it, Master Andreas? I mean, this town is... <clears throat> it reminds me of the town where I'm uh, hanging around. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we should get involved, Casper. Just stay out of their way. Start punching? Oh, they're just standing there. Um... If I start yelling, it's not going to do anything. If I start punching, who am I going to start punching? Her? Excuse me. A man was murdered in this town. His body is barely cold. I bought drinks for you all to remember him and to lighten the burden of his death. I hardly think a drunken brawl is the proper way to remember him. Now everybody's gonna be fucking angry at me. Maybe. Everyone out. Oh, god damn it. Troops have arrived. Everyone will be waiting to hear my evidence now. I'd best head into town and be prepared to name a suspect. So, again, this sucks because I talked to him multiple times. And if I would have done this earlier, I could have gone to investigate uh, Martin. But, uh... I can't now. So, again, we missed out on a crucial part of the whole thing. Uh, and exactly, I could, have, I could have done this, I could have done that, I could have done so much. But, um, we got nothing. So Martin isn't Martin, or then he is, but, um, there's two Martins. Um, there, there's nothing really to go with. Guy, uh, clearly might have had something to do with it, but, um, Things are not good, but I think I might be able to calm everybody down because, um, or hopefully I can calm everybody down. Because, oh, did he say where they're waiting? Is he here? Oh, at the commons. God damn. Well, it gives me time to fucking speak my mind. So, Otto's murder. So, you know, the forest, I couldn't investigate that. And I think it it was either because I skipped during the day, but I, I feel like there could have been, um, I feel like I should have been able to go there again. I didn't get anything from the forest except for the route underneath. If there was more, then, you know, nothing I can do. We don't have much time, so let's get this over with. I know some of you are frightened, some of you want to give up, but we have to see this through. You don't, actually. Things are good. Maybe we can't get what we've been fighting for, but we can get justice for Otto. Yeah, I know. Dad, what about the Duke's soldiers? 
They've been getting closer all day. I know, that's why we have to do this before it's too late. All we need now is for Andreas to tell us who done it. No more stalling, Andreas. We need to know who killed Otto and we need to know now. Can Andreas even tell us the truth? I can tell you the truth, but I, uh... Of course I can. Finding the culprit is all I've been doing since you chased the monks into the library. I'll tell you so that justice can be served, not so that you can fulfill your revenge. What? Why not? I didn't lie seven years ago. I'm not going to start now. Yeah. If Andreas names the guilty party, they should face the law, not a mob. I'm not debating this law. We're out of time. Acting now is the only way to get justice. We can't let anything stop us. A name, Andreas. Just give us a name. We'll do the rest. I don't think so, fuckface. She made it, everyone. She made it. The baby. Rachel gave birth to a baby girl. We know who she is. Quiet. Everyone needs to stay back and give Rachel space. Of course. All is well. Safe and sound and a baby girl. What? Safe and sound and a baby girl. Baruch Hashem. With everything going on, with everything that could have happened, God be praised. Maybe just everybody chill the fuck out. Peter, I'm sorry, I can't keep supporting you anymore. <clears throat> I understand your cause, but I need to protect my daughter and keep my friends safe. I've already lost Marie and Bert. I can't bear to lose anyone else. If bowing to the Duke's wishes will protect us, I'll do it gladly. I believe in the cause, Peter, but not at the cost of any more violence. You're making the right decision, Klaus. Lives are at stake now. Please excuse me, everyone. I need a moment to myself. Yeah. Maybe violence isn't the answer. <laughs> How can you also easily get us? Peter, shut the fuck up. The soldier said the duke would consider concessions for the town if we released the, the babbit, the abbot. Surely that will be enough. It may be enough to approach the duke's soldiers, especially if you let the abbot go. Abbot go. The soldiers and the abbot won't listen. We should do this ourselves. No, we should definitely let the abbot go and we'll handle, handle everything. Force will not solve anything. Letting the abbot go and getting concessions is the best solution for everyone, Peter. Letting the abbot go would be justice, wouldn't it? If he's not the one who killed Otto. The townsfolk don't understand. Letting the abbot go won't fix anything. Yeah, he's right in a way because he doesn't have all the information. Um, but it will fix everything now, I would imagine. If it doesn't, then I'll fucking kill the abbot myself and leave town. If we can't get the concessions we need, all peasants will starve and die in the end. And then, where will Tassing be? Besides, Otto's death needs to be vindicated. Don't walk away from this now, Ulrich. I have not swayed from the cause, Peter, rest assured. But Ulrich, this isn't your fight. Gret, it is moral and Christian to stand with the peasants. I cannot do otherwise. Come on, Andreas, just stop this. Damn you all, such behavior is reckless and cruel, especially right now. Get out, all of you. Re Rachel, rest. Yes, Agnes, we'll go now. Andreas, we're not done. We must still find justice for Otto before the uh, ducks, the Duke's soldiers, arrive. Oh. Let's continue this outside. 
Let's leave Rachel on the baby bee at least. No more stalling, no more interruptions. Tell us what you know, Andreas. Give us a name. Give us a name or the monks can burn along with our precious books. Remember your promise. You let them go, you won't hurt them. Mobbing the culprit won't give you any concessions. Let's just give the murderer to the duke's men instead. Um, the duke's men have forced us to act. We can worry about the abbot and the soldiers after we've dealt with the killer. That's not how reality works. I have one more condition. Damn it, Mauler, we don't have time for this. Enough innocent blood has already been spilled. Let Casper leave before things get any worse. He's just a boy, Peter, please. What, leave? Yes, fine. The boy can leave. It's not his fight. Oh, shit. Encourage Casper to learn from your mistakes as an artist. Showed concern for Casper on St. John's Eve. Cared for Casper after you fell into the cistern. Reassured Casper when the mob came. Why is this all negative? Oh, he doesn't want to leave me because I've been, I've been caring. Um... No, Master Waller, I won't leave you. Ah, oh, fuck. I know you don't want to, but you have to. Find your way back to Salzburg, back to your family. Please. Master Andreas, you'll teach me again when this is all over, right? Of course, Casper, I'll be right behind you. Alright, so you sue the Master. Who killed Otto? Oh my god, so... I have only two options. Casper and I overheard Hannah Berger in speaking with Leonard Muller. She said she was glad someone killed Otto because an uprising would have threatened pilgrim visits to the Shrine of St. Moritz, which would have been disastrous disastrous for the golden hand. Also, it's clear she's having an affair with the miller. Killianberger gave me a note he found on the floor while cleaning. It's clearly from the thread puller. It su suggested that Otto was going to destroy the abbey and the hand of St. Moritz. Fabian mentioned that Hannah's frequent visits to the rot house seem seemed odd. She may have been inspecting the site for a convenient way to kill Otto. Um... She also might have been sleeping around. There's nothing I'm going on. So, Brother Wojtyslav uh, said he saw Brother Guy doing something in the abattoir the other day. He appeared startled when Wojtyslav approached him, but Wojtyslav assumed it was because he was on edge due to Otto's demands. I should investigate the abattoir for clues. I found the Abbey's financial ledger in the sacristy. Brother Guy was balancing the books using a double bookkeeping method. He keeps meticulous records, maybe too meticulous. There was a mostly blank scrap of parchment between the pages. Its purpose is unclear. Um, I'll just stop here. Guy was trying to fucking curse the dude, so it, it doesn't... He wasn't the murderer. I found a book in the abattoir that seems quite out of place. It's a manual for enacting necromancy rituals. There was also a loose piece of paper with handwritten notes tucked between the pages. I found fresh lemons tucked inside Brother Guy's old scribe desk. Some of the handwritten notes in the necromancy book use Burgundian terms. Brother Guy is the only person at Curacao from Burgundy. He must uh, have been the one who wrote in it. Brother Guy uses lemon juice to write an invisible message on the sheet of parchment inside the abbey ledger. By holding the parchment over a flame, I was able to make the hidden message appear. It was a second brief ledger of deposits that Brother Guy was making to a Fugger bank, bank account uh, through a contact in Augsburg. This is clear evidence that he's stealing from the Abbey. I found a jar in the herb hut at the uh, convent containing golden rings and other jewels. Um, Sister Margaret identified Brother Guy as the monk who hid them there. Now, 
this could be that he's been stealing them or it could also be that he was at this what he was doing here was trying to take money and all the kinds of jewels and things and hide them somewhere where the looters don't get them so it's not good because i think um she reacted really strangely but but she she's of course afraid that me the fucking investigator who gets everything wrong is going to accuse her about things so there's there's nothing concrete here um and uh if i have to pick i wish i could just say i don't wanna but it's going to be her uh, Hannah Berger and killed Otto to protect the inn. To protect the inn? Why would the inn be in danger? I, hold, I overheard Hannah confiding in Leonard by the old ruins in the, in the meadow. She was afraid that if Otto pushed the abbot out, the hand of St. Moritz would go with him. No relic, no pilgrims, no golden hand. Hannah spent time at the rot house. Why? What was she doing there if not plotting Otto's death? Or well, banging the fucking workmen? We should have known. She's a newcomer here. Never supported the peasants. Never supported what Otto was doing. And if she was sneaking off to the ruins to talk to that bastard Lenart. Well, I don't think anything more needs to be said. I think a lot more needs to be said, my friend. Um, if the mob is going to kill her... Uh, it's the kind of shit happens. Like I said before, if you don't give your sh keep your shit in order, then, you know, things will get out of hand. All right, Peter. We've heard Andreas out, but the accused should be allowed to defend themselves. They definitely should. You're not going anywhere, Peter. You're not getting anyone. None of you are. Hannah is under my protection, and you're out of time. Peter, I'm so delighted I was able to snuff out the flickering flame of your pathetic rebellion. Listen to me, all of you. It's over. You're done. The only thing you can do now is release the abbot and pray for the duke's mercy. If any of you people set foot near my mill, you'll get uh, none from me. Can someone kill him, please? Damn him. He thinks he can stop us. All of us, he can't. Peter, this has gone too far. We have to release the abbot before it's too late. Just, yeah, everybody. To hell with the abbot, Ori. And if you won't help us, to hell with you. So, yeah, we fucked up again. I fucked up again. Uh, listen to Ori, he's right. No, he is not. Let's wait for the Duke's men. They can sort this out. No one needs to get hurt. Peter, it was a mob who called for Christ's death, too. Was that just... Then he's just going to say, Well, it's not Christ, it's a fucking piece of shit. That's what they always say. But that's what they said about Christ as well. It's, it's just, people are dumb. I'll just just let, let the Duke's men handle it. The Duke doesn't care about Otto. The Abbot doesn't care about Otto. We're doing this ourselves. To the mill. Stay back, Bruce. This won't end well for any of you. Like, he's going to get rewarded by the Duke for trying to stop the, the riot. Hannah has my protection, and I won't hesitate to shoot you like the animals you are. So stay away from my fucking mail. I think if the... Well, he's got the only mail in town. His mail is going to get burned down. It's sort of uh, poetic justice here. And you, Andres, I thought you might have learned something from our little chat. It seems you really are as pathetic as the rest of this lot. Well, sure, but I didn't have fucking time to do it. Or I, I did, and I tried, but... Yeah, whatever. You're an asshole, Leonard. You always have the wrong ideas about the peasants. I never agree. I don't want to be wrapped up in this. The peasants forced my hand. All this is madness. Yet you're standing there with the rest of them. You could have let this go, but instead you had to meddle. Elsie, take the boy and go. You don't need to be involved in this. Yeah. Oh my god. He's gonna fucking shoot them. 
He's going to use, the, use his only shot just to shoot them out of spite. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm taking mom and we're leaving somewhere f far away from you. Well, he's going to inherit the mill so long as they survive. You'll regret this, boy. I won't be responsible for how your life turns out if he leaves. Probably going to be pretty good, to be honest. Lenart, let them go. They've lived under your rule long enough. I should have expected this from you, Paul. You're always such a, you've always been such a sad excuse for his son. And Elsie, if you do this, you won't find anyone else to love you. Spoken like a true hero, gentleman. You'll be a feckless old crona, crone, like uh, that Attilia. All right, Lenard, they're gone. Drop your weapon. He's gonna shoot somebody. If if we know anything about Lenard, he's gonna um, go out blasting, as they say. You're not so high and mighty now, are you? We're going to lose everything just like us. Give up, Muller. There's more of us than you in that mill. You can't shoot us all. You'd probably shoot Big York because he's the biggest target. Give us Hannah, you bastard. I didn't kill Otto, I know. But there was no... I didn't have a choice to just not say anything, I don't think. I was scared about what would happen to the shrine, but I would never kill someone. Please think of my family. And what about Otto's family? What about my daughter, a widow with an infant son? It's too late to plead for mercy now. You're all mad. This isn't how the law works, and you know it. Your blabbering will change nothing. I mean, he's, he's, he's a douche, but he's making a point now. Just stop. You're never given a damn about law or justice or property or propriety or a fucking decency a day in your life letter. You've let me have my way for years, <clears throat> Peter, and done shit about it. You've never stood up for anything, and you won't get any further today. Uh, he's making a point again, because um, he, he's been fucking around literally for ages. And, and I know the status is different, but it's medieval times. You can get rid of a fucker. Peter, Leonard, please let us search uh, for peace tonight. Such language is not Christian. Come down here and face me like a man, you piece of shit. Everybody, calm down. You can still talk this out. You can always talk it out until you can't. I feel personally that you can... It's futile to talk, try and talk to... And what, what did I call them? A large group of emotional people. Can't blame the man. Our force is all Peter and his family knows. It certainly worked with Christine. Oh shit! How dare you even speak her name? I think these tensions have been here for you know long enough. I'm not sure there was anything you could do to stop it. <laughs> there we go. Shooting the man of peace. Well done. Peter, I think at this point you killed him as much as he did. And here we go. You've been a menace on this town long enough, Leonard. You've brought this on yourself. I, I feel he has. You've all brought this on yourselves. And my, like, if I could just say that um, the guilty person. The, the one responsible for all this extra tension or this thing piling up and exploding is Guy, basically. So I should have accused him, but then I feel they would have murdered everyone in there, and then the um, Duke's men would have murdered everyone here, so everyone would die. This way, um, the Duke's men will not be involved, basically. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know if they're going to go to the Abbey after this, but whatever. Let both of the murderers die together. All right, the mill is gonna burn today. Well done, fucker. Your daddy built the mill and now it's gone. Oh shit, the troops are advancing on the town. 
We need to go now. We must let the abbot out so he can talk to the Duke's soldiers. Yes, let's do fucking that. If we don't get the abbot out, he won't be able to stop the soldiers. He's not the soldiers hurting anyone on there, it was Peter. Yeah, let's go and uh, try to get some sense out of this shit. So, I think, um, I'm not up, up for, you know, just murdering people that I don't like and stuff, uh, but in this case, they, everybody sort of brought it on themselves, but the biggest guilty party is Guy. He's like the cause of everything, basically. Life is always hard, injustices happen, but they're easy to take to your grave if, you know, everybody does their best, <clears throat> but when one party starts doing bullshit on top of everything then uh, that's when the shit gets out of hand so guy is pretty much the uh, culmination of all that went wrong here really why oh I didn't read that Andreas found the killer and justice has been dispensed Peter has to keep his word are you sure no I'm fucking not please father Abbott the Duke soldiers have surrounded the town we have to show them you're in no danger that the peasants are holding and that the peasants aren't holding you captive. And if he doesn't come out, I'm gonna drag him by his fucking uh, fucking ankle <clears throat> out into the street because he's uh, he's supposed to be the leader, but he's fucked up royally. We don't want any more bloodshed, Father. And actually, yeah, I'd say this guy is more responsible than guy in a sense because he he's the leader so he's he's fucked up everything thank god is it over what happened at the mill is there anyone hurt we saw a fire peter you got your justice now fuck off you swore that you wouldn't hurt the abbot or the brothers remember i don't think he cares I did. No one else needs to die tonight. The abbot can talk to the Duke's Herald. Uh, you held Leonard responsible for his actions. We can convince the Duke that what happened tonight was justice. Otto is dead. Ulrich is dead. We can work through this, Peter. Hope is not lost. Everything can go back to the way it was before. Well, almost, at least. Right, the way it was before. Somebody mentioned the fucking scamming here. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. Don't. Oh my god, he's gonna burn the fucking library now. So, we're all gonna die. Dad? He's lit the manuscripts, and all the bookshelves, and everything. Nothing's ever going to change. Well, things were about to change. After, I think, after this fucking guy, and that fucking guy. The books. Dad, what did you do? He was retarded, to be frank. We need to get the water in the cistern as well, quickly before it spreads. Definitely get all the water you can. Isn't there water in the center of the church too? Peter, the soldiers are in the abbey, they're coming this way, and now they're gonna fucking kill everybody. Um, Andreas, I think we need to save, well, the books and the people now too. And we need to get out of here. Yep. Andreas, let's go. I think Andreas might die with the books here. Nope. I'm sorry, I can't. Come on, take the kid out. 